speak to a lot of teams throughout the year. And, this, and the teams that I'm called to speak to are generally teams that are not playing to their potential, like can't get it together, losing to teams that they should beat, um, or for whatever reason, just are, you know ne- need to get better and want to get better. And so the first question I always ask when I'm in front of a team is, like, what are you guys doing here? And I get a lot of like puzzled looks. And they're like, well, it's like practice or team meeting or like coach told us to be. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, what are you doing here playing baseball? And then it gets quiet. I said, because you do know, like, all of your friends are out doing fun stuff. You do know baseball is spring, summer, fall, nights and weekends. And everybody else, whatever age you are, right, if you're, you know, a high school or a college player, you do know that everybody agrees, like, this is like the time of your life. And everybody else is kind of ha- out having the time of their life. But yet you've chosen to give spring, summer, fall, nights and weekends and the grind of playing baseball. You've given that up. You've given all that fun stuff up to be here. And so what I, want to, what I want to let them know is I want to give them the word. I want to tell them why. And the reason why is that they caught a feeling. Sometime in their career, they caught a feeling. If they were a pitcher, they had a ball leave their hand, and they said, I don't care if Babe Ruth is up there. No one's hitting that. They've had the feeling of you know, uh, fooling a guy on a, on a curveball, right? Just, just freezing a guy on a curveball, hitting, hitting the, the corner for a called strike three. If they're a hitter, they've had that moment of a ball leaving their bat where it doesn't even feel like contact was made, but then the ball flies over the fence. Or, or the feeling of the second the ball leaves a pitcher's hand saying, oh, he messed up. If you're an infielder, right, you've had that experience of hanging in the air with a double play as you see if the, if the ball is going to beat the runner. Or an outfielder running and having a diving catch. You caught a feeling. And there's something that comes alive in you when you play baseball that doesn't come alive in you at any other time. And you can't catch that feeling out doing dumb stuff with your friends. Baseball is the only place that you can catch that feeling. And so what you really want to have is you want that thing that comes alive in you when you play baseball to come alive. And then you want it to come alive with everybody else here in the locker room so they can come alive together so you could have more of those experiences. You could have more of that feeling. So that can come alive in you more. You could have more of those moments. And that's a coach's job. A coach's job is to train, prepare, instruct, educate players so that they can go out in the field so that thing in them can come alive and they can have more of those moments. 